and I feel kind of a little bit like George Schilling now for some reason. But um, the reason I'm here um, is to introduce you to Hook. Um, Hook is the head engineer here at York Street and um, someone who's been a friend of mine for, for a while, um, uh, worked with, um, with his bands and uh, a few years back, but yeah, a few, yeah. a few years back. Yeah, so um, you've just recently joined York Street, haven't you? Yeah, I, I think this is maybe my fifth month here. I started uh, end of August. Yeah, and it's going all right, settling in. It is going good. Yeah, I mean it's it's quite different coming from I had my own studio before coming here. Was and it Dudley, right? It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It was called Dudley Studios. Me and a couple of friends started it together, and then I ended up being the last person owning it for the last couple of years of it, but um, we had a we had a console down there in, in McAngela, but otherwise primarily I did everything in the box, yeah. um, including mixing just for recall and stuff, because I didn't think that particular desk warranted having to do stems for, for the sound of it, it wasn't sure. good yeah. enough, you know, for exactly. That. But um, I loved it for tracking, because yeah. I could get some of the sound, but for mixing and stuff, I was just all in the box. So coming here is obviously quite a bit different. But you've got quite a lot of your own gear. I know that you've yeah. brought quite a bit to York Street. Like, what have you got here? You've got um, APIs um, and... Yeah, the, I've got the API pre's, the distressor is mine, um, the SSL X-Logic, um, the Chandler LTD-1. Yeah, nice. Um, so I've got some Dyn Audio speakers upstairs that you would have seen on your little tour. Yeah, yeah. Um, Got a Royal One Two One that I bought here, the AEA R eighty four. Yeah, the ribbon on drums. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yeah, the ribbon. Um, so I've you're... also still got a uh, Apogee that I haven't got rid of yet, and a Dangerous Two Bus as well. Nice one. But, yeah. So pretty big asset to York Street then. Not only are you bringing your skills, but you're bringing in a shitload of gear. Well, yeah, I guess it can't hurt. <laughs> and um, so you're a guitarist, producer, kind of. Yeah. I mean, are you still playing guitar or? It's funny actually. Um, a band that I produced an album for about two years ago, um, they they asked me about a year ago to fill in on guitar because they lost their guitarist. Yeah, what's the name of the band? It was called Falter. Yeah. And I actually hadn't touched guitar for about a year prior to that, and so I started to get blisters and stuff <laughs> on my hands again. But um, yeah, so that's kind of wrapped up now, and I haven't really touched the guitar since. I sort of in the studio maybe to play a part to someone, but yeah. otherwise. It always helps yeah. being, I think, a little bit musical, doesn't it? I mean, that's something I always yeah. like was a little bit more musical on the kind of... Yeah, I think so, because in all my prior bands, I was the singer as well, so it really helps, I think, for vocals, me being able to sympathise with the person in the booth. Sure, and, and you come up with, like, harmonies Yeah, harmonies and, and stuff, yeah. like, ever since high school, I've always sung harmonies to a song I hear on the radio or something, rather than the main melody, it was just always something I've cool. done, so, yeah. Right. Definitely think it helps. And um, so what do you... I mean, what was your, your reasoning for coming to York Street and working here? Well, it was... I've always sort of... The whole reason I'm still in the music industry is probably because it's been the path of Leafs resistance. And um, Jeremy had got me in a couple of times to do certain projects producing and stuff that he thought would suit um, me. And the last one that I did here, um, the assistant engineer mentioned that the head engineer was leaving and he didn't know if they found a replacement at the sure, time. Okay, yeah. And I was the last one left at the studio back where I used to live in the small town Hamilton. Yeah. And I just kind of wanted a change and to move into an area where a lot of the bigger bands were coming to because it was getting quite hard to bring them down to Hamilton. I mean, Auckland's people. pretty much the place in New Zealand's a bit, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I'd obviously recorded at York Street a lot before and, I mean, it's always been probably the best studio in the country, you know, all the big bands recorded here and it's just got that legacy of, you know, so I thought, well, if I can get in there, then yeah, I'll... I'll definitely give it a shot. So I emailed Jeremy after that weekend and we got to talking and then a week later I moved to cities with my girlfriend. <laughs> Man, is that? I bet she was stoked. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it worked out well because she was able to get a job transfer, but yeah, yeah. No, it, was, it was good. It happened so easily that I was like, well, path of police resistance, I'll go with it. Great, yeah. yeah. And um, and what sort of things are you coming out in the future here? Like your jobs, that sort of thing? Or what have you done that has been um, we just, um, at the end of the year, did a project, uh, an album with Autosam, which was quite fun because cool. they brought yeah. over producer um, Chris Sharma from mm -hmm. LA. And that was fun seeing how he worked and stuff. He was he was very much about them all playing live, which is what the band wanted as well. Cool, but, yeah. um, you're very much about the vibe and the performance and stuff rather than 
any sort of editing was mainly just comping between a few takes or something and then there would be a few overdubs and stuff. Cool, so, so what, you just work on like a track a day and try and get Yeah, pretty much. And... That's that's the yeah. way it went, a track a day and I sort of ran Pro Tools the whole time for him and stuff and helped him out with the engineering cool. and stuff, so that was fun, yeah. that was great. Um, so is he, because he's an engineer too, right? Yeah, he yeah. is, um, and a mixer as well. Yeah. A lot of his credits are actually for engineering and mixing yeah. as well as just producing, which is I guess happens a lot for a lot of people, but yeah. Great, and so you pick up any cool tracks from him? Um, not much that I haven't seen before or read about before, but I mean he did do quite a cool thing that I haven't actually seen someone do where he had a, a mic kind of tucked into the snare above the kick drum yeah, yeah. and that was feeding the guitar amp in the room that was then mic'd up again and that was actually happening live while oh, the cool. band was tracking live. Okay. So, so what, going, what, what kind of band was it going through? Um, to be honest, I can't even remember. It was just a little, just one of the little, little combos. Yeah, it was like yeah. maybe one of the Rollins or something. He didn't really care. He just wanted oh, cool. some gritty amp up stuff. And I have to try it myself. It sounds cool. Yeah. yeah. And actually, he did something interesting with the vocal that I've never done before. And it was kind of a um, a bit to kind of get our head around at first of how we we're going to do it for each song and doing vocal overdubs. But the we had two mics on the vocal. One was this. Um, Looks like, kind of like a, like a hand grenade, like an old World War Two hand grenade. It's not like a bullet mic or anything like that. It's no, no, no. It's um, it's a bit longer and it's kind yeah. of got a fat end. I'm I'm bad at remembering model numbers and stuff. But we had that as well as like I think we used the '67, and both of them went into a Pro Tools, recorded on separate tracks. But then it also got sent back out into the SSL compressor and EQ, and then that got recorded back in, and that's what we're monitoring, not the two individual tracks. Oh, okay. But he wanted those recorded, so they so you listen to both of them together and... Some yeah. through the SSL coming back in. Oh, okay. And it just meant um, when we're doing harmonies or overdubs, yeah. you had to be careful about muting those two. Two. Yeah, otherwise yeah. they got sent back out again and recorded and stuff like that. That's but, pretty cool. Yeah. And there's, so there's no problems with latency or anything like that, or it's pretty minute? Not, not yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty minute, yeah. and the way we're monitoring off the console and stuff yeah. made it not a problem. Oh, yeah. cool. And so he, he you like this bad boy? You like the Neve? Yeah, he did. But he actually said something that I thought was quite cool and interesting. Like, one of the guys from the band asked him, he's like, you know, what do you think of the desk and stuff? And he said, it's great, but to him it's just a means to an end, you know? He's just sort of, just at the end of the day, no one goes home singing the console, you know? It's about yeah. the song, it's and interesting, if, yeah. if that can get him the yeah. result he wants, cool. So he's a real vibe type of guy. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, cool. He is a bit of a gearhead as well, but yeah. yeah, to the extent of gets his job done easy and quick, cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah I think that's one of the great things about working somewhere like York Street, you know, which is, you know, like New Zealand's leading studio, yeah. you always get all the good bands and you get overseas producers in and that's how I got to meet, you know, guys like, you know, Greg, yeah. Ava and Gil Norton and that kind of thing. And that's where you pick up those tracks. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean so we cool. we also had Black Eyed Peas come in here when they were over in New Zealand. That's cool. is, yeah. Well uh, yeah, so I mean uh, just a quick one with hook there. Um, if you're keen to come all the way to New Zealand, I can personally vouch if anyone wants to work with Hook, I've worked with him, he's a great engineer and um, you'll enjoy your time down here at York Street. It's an amazing studio, one of my top studios in the world. And I'm not just saying that because I've got Jeremy looking over my shoulder, but it is actually um, yeah, an amazing studio. So um, thanks Hook for jumping in and Congrats. also walking around with the camera. It got a bit heavy, I have to admit. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty big camera. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's not bad. I love it. Cool. All right. Cheers, dude. Thank you.